You're watching Transfiguration Today, your source for news from our church community. Welcome to Transfiguration Today. I'm Erica Gehring. And I'm Dan Blankowski. Another member of our staff has been honored for her great work, and it's kind of a big deal. Joyce Juris has been selected by the National Catholic Educators Association to receive the Religious Educational Excellence Award. The award is presented to a parish catechetical leader who exemplifies excellence in catechesis. The focus of the award is to recognize those catechetical leaders who have developed innovative programs, offered new ideas for effective catechesis, or implemented unique approaches that improve the quality of parish religious education programs. She, she won you. the national NCEA um, uh, Director of the Year, Religious Education Director of the Year, our Joyce, for the whole nation. Thank and you. And it is so <laughs> well deserved. Thank We're you. so proud of you, our youth ministry program, our religious education program, and what an honor you bring to our parish. In our weekday preschool program, they have their own share of awards, and now is the time to get your little ones signed up. Open registration for our preschool is now underway. Not to brag, but we do have one of the best programs, not only in Cobb County, but in the entire Archdiocese of Atlanta. Spots are still open for kids ages 2, 3, 4, and even pre-K 5 for the 2014-15 school year. You can come by any time for a tour or call the office to get more information on what the program offers for your child. In addition to school readiness, your youngster will get to be part of fun experiences like the Circus Fantasy Puppet Show our preschoolers just got to see. Lee Bryan, also known as That Puppet Guy, came to Transfiguration with Captain Tater Tot, the ringmaster and all of his puppet friends. This educational show features puppets made from recycled plastic bottles and also included a behind the scenes look at the art of puppetry. The looks on the kids' faces says it all. For more on Lee Bryan, check out his website, PuppetGuy.com. And if you're into the performing arts, or maybe you're not, you're just looking for a good fun night out at a reasonable price, check out our new theatrical offering. The Transfiguration Theater Players, in conjunction with the Men's Club, presents The Whole Shebang. It's on Friday night, February 14th. Bring your sweetie to this dinner theater experience. For just $15, you get a delicious chicken parmesan dinner and a very funny show featuring parishioners Bruce Kyle, Irene Hall, Molly Stein, Alvin Connolly, Pat Bayer, Tom Ockinger, and directed by Deacon Phil. Now that's a Valentine's Day deal that's really hard to beat. Sorry. All proceeds from the show go to benefit the Men's Club Scholarship Fund. Well, if you were able to join us for Stephen's playlist, you know what a great time we had. Bishop Hall was packed. It was a wonderful evening with the DJ and lots of new friends. A huge thanks to everyone who came out for the event, all those who volunteered, and especially those who'd so generously donated to our Nicaragua Christ Teen Mission trip. Thank you. As a follow-up to our successful men's conference, we're beginning monthly gatherings to provide feedback, encouragement, accountability, and support to men as husbands, fathers, grandfathers, and uncles through small group discussions and mentoring. So join us Saturday, February 22nd, 8 to 9.30 a.m. in the Adult Lounge. The topic, the 10 things your children should know. Please RSVP on the website or emailing Roger Heil. And now it's time for the Curious Catholic Question. We chose a question this week from Emiliana, a student here at Transfiguration Prep. Emiliana asked, why do we ring bells during the Mass service? The reason why we ring bells, we've done this for more than 800 years. They are called the Sanctus Bells, and they can be rung up to four times during the Liturgy of the Eucharist. We at Transfiguration tend to ring them once during the consecration. This tradition predates times when the priest may have turned his back to the congregation or the congregation may not have been present at all during the consecration. 
The Sanctus bells ringing signaled those not able to attend Mass that the transubstantiation was taking place. Hey, thanks, Emiliana. What a great question. But you don't have to be a kid to submit a question, right? Not at all. I learned something from this one. And all you have to do is submit an email to today at transfiguration.com. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Sure, kids and adults. Well, that's going to wrap it up for Transfiguration today. This time, we'll see you back again on February 21st with a fresh new edition. Feel free to share us all over the place. I'm Dan Blankowski. I'm Erica Gehring. See you next time.